name is Sherelle and with my husband and I we began Ezra. Initially we just had a few kids from the village want to come and learn English and so we welcomed them in and we started to teach just a few kids English. That's where we started, a few kids around the kitchen table while I was trying to homeschool my own kids and do housework. It just kind of grew from there. So. They would tell their friends and then we'd have a few more and then they would tell their friends and we just grew and grew until there was a point where we needed help. So we got some Khmer teachers. Now we have about a hundred kids come every day to our classes. We will do English class in the morning around three o'clock where we open the doors and there's usually kids waiting and then we teach English in the evening between four or five and then five to six. We chose the name Ezra from the Bible because Ezra was a scribe and he studied the Word of God, then he put it into practice and obeyed it and then he taught it. Our prayer is that many Cambodian people will come to know Christ. For us to communicate that well to them, we need them to be able to speak English. We make a difference because we teach them English and also they can have a safe place to come and hang if you come here at about five o'clock in the afternoon, you'll see a ton of kids just playing in the street, having fun together. We have seen children being turned around. Our first student that came, when I started to teach her about the Bible, she said, well, that's stupid. I'm not going to believe that. But she kept coming. She became a Christian, uh, we were able to baptize her, and she's still with us learning English and it's great. We're planning to move across to another church, Jerusalem Church. They will basically be adopting what we've already got so that the church and us will partner together. The students, when they come to know God and when they have questions, they will have a church that our work is connected to. Eventually we would like to hand over the Learning Centre and the children and the students to the church and empower them to be able to take uh, the program and use it the way that God leads them to. We are here representing God in this culture and we can't do it by ourselves. We're just a family and there are a lot of needs here that we can't meet. The more people that help us and invest in the ministry here, the more people that we can reach. We need prayer, first and foremost, and we need people to receive our newsletter. To send teams would be huge. Any skills that people have and they want to bring them over. We need financial help so that we can buy books, supplies, teaching aids, to pay the teachers, and also to help our family to get fed. <laughs> we know that we're not here doing it by ourselves, that they're part of it, and um, we really need their prayers because these children need to hear about God and they need to come to a saving faith. We're just two people trying to figure out how to reach this town for God and we need your support.